Welcome everyone. Today, we'll navigate the exciting world of air handling units and empower you to select the perfect one for your specific needs. We'll dive into a step-by-step -step guide, explore practical calculations, and equip you with the knowledge to choose an AHU that delivers peak performance, energy efficiency, and a healthy, comfortable space. Let's get to the heart of the matter, understanding the airflow and cooling needs of our project. We will assume that we already know the cooling load, the amount of heat we need to remove. This can be calculated through manual equations or by using specialized software tools. I already uploaded one video showing the cooling load calculations, so let's consider the following example. Determine the minimum cooling coil load and required chilled water flow for a system serving an office space with a sensible cooling load of 30,800 BTU per hour and a latent load of 13,500 BTU per hour. Indoor design conditions are 75 degrees Fahrenheit 50% relative humidity and outdoor design conditions are 85 degrees Fahrenheit dry bulb 70 degrees Fahrenheit wet bulb. The minimum ventilation air is 25% of the total supply air, which is delivered at 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The fan selected is a 70% efficient, draw-through arrangement and delivers air at 4 inches total pressure. No manufacturer's coil data is available. Assume 10 degrees Fahrenheit chilled water temperature rise through the coil. Since we know the sensible heat load in delta T, we can calculate the CFM from the following formula where delta T is the difference between the return air and supply air temperatures. On the psychrometric chart, plot space conditions of 75 degrees Fahrenheit 50% relative humidity and find the intersection of the sensible heat ratio line with space temperature and supply air temperature. Now let's plot outdoor conditions of 85 degrees Fahrenheit dry bulb 70 degrees Fahrenheit wet bulb. Locate mixed air condition and account for fan delta T. Assuming the perfect mixing occurs, the mixed air conditions can be found by this equation. On the psychometric chart, plot the enthalpy for coil entering and leaving conditions. And from the following formula, we can calculate the coil cooling load. The last step is to calculate the chilled water flow through the coil. Since we know the cooling requirement and delta T across the coil, we can simply use the following formula to calculate the required flow. 